Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review, and uh, actually my wife Sarah back here is going to chime in too at some point. Blue Cypress, Goldfield and Banks, 2016 release, Woody Chipre. Notes are Blue Cypress, Lavender, Patchouli, Clove, and Star Anise, a haze of white incense that fuses with the scent of the morning dew, evaporating from a deep blue green forest. Um, so I wore this one at work today, and I've worn it a couple of other times. I'm not really sure if I understand what's going on here with the notes. Uh, star anise is like a licorice flavored herb. I don't really get that. Don't really get cloves. Um, I'm not even sure what cypress is supposed to smell like in and of itself. I just know I've smelled several cypress fragrances in the past, and this doesn't even smell like any of them. At Fragrantica, the number one comparison is Aquadigia, which is a very popular fragrance. Let me smell and it. Mm, smells good. You know what Aquadigio smells like? I have a bottle. I don't wear it much, but uh, a little bit. It's kind of a watery scent. I have to smell them side by side to know if they're the same <laughs> smell. But based off of memory, it seems like it's pretty similar, ninety percent similar. I mean, I haven't tried it side by side, but uh, yeah, I agree. Fragrantica says Aquadigio was the primary uh, comparison point, and if that's the case, then. I don't understand the point of that. I think before Aventus came along, Aquadigia was certainly one of the most cloned and copied fragrances ever. So, and I've tried, you know, like Perry Ellis 360 Red was supposedly an inspiration, and um, Paris Hilton, I think Just Me, they said was an inspiration. Even you go to a truck stop, you can find inspirations in the bathroom. So that's how bad it's getting. This one. Kind of I has like a, it. It's it's nice, but uh, yeah, for a hundred and eighty-five dollars, I don't know if I would pay that much. I mean, you, I got you the bottle of Pacific Rock Moss. The I like same, that. Is it the same people? Same people, yeah. Um, I think that one might be worth it because it does have its own special vibe, and I think that's one of their best sellers. This one, I don't know how well this one's doing in terms of sales, but uh, yeah, people. I've heard Grantica seem to just think it's just sort of a overpriced Aquadigio clone type thing. And I agree, yeah, for the price, I'd want something a little bit more unique like Suppressa de Toscana or even Pacific Rock Moss for that matter because of the similarity to Aquadigio. So pretty much a pass for me just based off of the price point and the lack of uniqueness. But for me, smell, I'll say 7 out of 10. It's a nice smell, but it's very familiar smelling. You could even compare it with other aquatics, maybe a little bit like... Uh, Invictus. Remember you talked about Invictus one day. You said somebody worked to work and you're like, oh, my husband should get a bottle of that. So, remember Invictus? Yeah. Does it remind you of that a little bit? Or, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's just like that designer aquatic. It's good quality aquatic, but it doesn't have the star anise patchouli clove, you know, gist that I was expecting. So, I really cut, caught off guard comparing the notes with the smell there versatility i think you could wear it all year round but i think it might be a little bit better in spring and summer because it does have a summery feel to it because it is like an aquatic uniqueness i'm gonna say five out of ten one of the least um unique fragrances from this house in my opinion 185 dollars for the 100 ml lucky scent for me i'm gonna give it six out of ten not that it's a bad fragrance it just it doesn't smell unique enough for me to get too excited about it i don't know how you feel i mean would you i would say uh, Seven out of ten. Seven. And the, the other thing I should mention is that they're saying this is unisex. I mean, does this smell like a woman or a man to you, or just sort of like Both a neutral? You, you think a girl could pull this off too? Mm -hmm. Maybe. But what's interesting is that I've never heard of a woman wearing Aquadigio. I was always thought it'd be kind of interesting if it was advertised as a unisex fragrance. Let's say like Jennifer Aniston or uh, you know. Jennifer Lawrence did a commercial where they're wearing Aquadigio and they're like, oh, this is great. And then maybe 10 million women are going to wear Aquadigio as well. I don't know. But this one, uh, yeah, for me, I, I'm a little unimpressed. I enjoy wearing it just because I like this Aquadigio type fragrances. But for the price and, and for the lack of what I consider to be a, a nice cypress smell, I don't know. I just don't think it's that worthy of my consideration beyond the sample. So. Yeah, for me it's a pass. 
a six out of ten. You say a seven. I mean, I like if, if I wore it around you, like going out, you'd probably be like, oh yeah, it's it smells nice. Smells good, yeah. So. All right, guys. Yeah, I Thanks think that's for... it for this one. <laughs> we'll see you next time. All right, bye. Bye.